we, we talked about 40 full minutes, and we saw 40 full minutes, right? Before the game, we talked about the talent, the team, and, and what we were building. And you saw it. You saw it in how we played together. You saw it in how uh, we shared the ball. But what, most importantly, I'm pre impressed with our defense, right? That's something that we have really been honing in on. And you saw 40 full minutes of it. And in the result, we got the win. Question? So uh, Jalen and Tai, you guys had a combined um, 51 points. Do you have a new nickname coming up for that backcourt duo? I'm curious to know. Not yet, but we could come up with so, how about, uh, we How about the Italian ice, right? Italian ice, yeah. but it's Italian ice? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Coach, Mose, Coach Mose gave us a nickname, though. He ain't saying it well. He called us Pity Peace. So that's actually funny that you said that. But y'all ain't got a nickname, though. The nickname is we won. Yeah. <laughs> Coach, tonight was one of your best nights from three as a team. What made that possible? The shots that you saw tonight are shots that they take every day in practice. Um, and, and so they're comfortable, they're confident. Um, and, and we say as, as long as it's the shots that you work that you work on and you're confident, take and take them. But I thought they got them in rhythm. I thought they got them when they were ready to shoot, the extra pass, the one more pass. So um, I'm not surprised that they went in, right? But I think it was more about the shots that they took uh, within the offense. Coach, for 27 points in the second quarter, what was the key to exploding like that and building the lead to really hold on to the rest of the game? Well, the third quarter has second, been second quarter. Second quarter, we wanted to keep our foot on the gas, right? But but we weren't satisfied. We we just it was just in rhythm. Um, thank you, sir. We got a lot going on, but it's Aiden's world. Um, I just thought it was just flow of the game, right? We really didn't say that was the number we wanted. We just talked about the execution of the offense. Jalen, you had 17 of the team's first 25 points. Can you talk about that rhythm that you were able to get into at the start of the game? Um, I think that my teammates did a really good job at getting me the ball. I think that they were finding me and knowing my shots, the shots that I take every day. Um, once I get going, the rim looks really, really wide to me. So just to keep my foot on the gas, like Coach A said, and make sure I'm finding my teammates as well. And Coach, what does it mean to have two players that can go off for 25 plus on any given night? That's the depth of our team, right? And I mean, there are multiple players. It's just Ty and I sitting here, but it could be any other player on our team. And that's just the work that they put in every day. It's a tribute to the staff and, and what the team that we built, that we put together. So it might be Ty and I sitting here today, but it could be someone different tomorrow. Coach, in the previous three games, you scored a 12 three-pointers, and today you guys had 11. What was different in that aspect? I think they're just, they're warming up. Right, it's the same shots, but the more reps. But I think it was just more in the, the context of the offense, <coughs> right? We were ready to shoot, we were in rhythm to shoot, uh, and, and so I thought it was just more balanced and, and ready. So I don't, I don't think it was anything that we did different. Uh, these are the shots that they take every day, but I thought it was within the offense, so they were ready to shoot. In the fourth quarter, the Mustangs kept trying to crawl back. What was your guys' mentality in all of those timeouts throughout those final few It minutes? stops get rebounds, uh, don't give up any baskets, keep them off the free throw line, but it was just a matter of getting stops. So three kills in a row, three stops in a row is a kill, so we were calling out, okay, that was the kill, that was the kill. So it was a matter of how many more stops can we get to finish the game. And Coach, you held uh, Nia Robertson to five points in the first half of the game, and then the second half of the game, she kind of uh, starts to get into her rhythm. Um, what happened in the first half that led you to be able to limit her and what changed in the second? Well, I think the game plan was to have key people, key defenders. You know, Jazzy on Jackson did a phenomenal job on her. Uh, Jaya Levette did a, number, a, a phenomenal job on her. But all of our guards had a piece because we switched kind of one through three. But she's a good player. I mean, good players are going to find their rhythm. But she didn't get off in the sense of she's a catalyst. She's what makes them go. So even the shots that she made, they were contested shots, right? We would corral her. We put her in a pocket make her take tough shots, make her make tough shots. And so I thought that we executed that beautifully. It looked like you tightened up your rotation. Was that intentional or was that just the way it went and you weren't in, in foul trouble quite as much? Yeah. Or? I just thought that was the way it went, right? They were, we were in rhythm. Um, and so we just talked about tomorrow's game could be completely different. So that, that just um, speaks to our depth. 
it speaks to the balance that we have on our team. Mm -hmm. But I thought this was working, and, and we just didn't we didn't switch from. Coach, oh, sorry. Oh. Coach talked about the defensive intensity and consistency. Mm -hmm. Ty and Jalen, what were you feeling inside that game? Um, like Coach said, I just felt like we had a rhythm. Uh, we wanted to start the game and finish the game strong, and I just thought that we were doing a good job on defense, and it kind of got our offense going. So I'm glad that, you know what I'm saying, we kind of kept our rotation what it was. We was just, you know, keeping the flow going. But I thought we did a good job of just sharing the ball, executing, and it was just falling for us today. I agree. I would say that our communication on the court, especially on defense, um, that definitely helped us today. You know, when you're playing a good team like that, you have to deal with a lot of rotations. You have to deal with a lot of different things going on. But even with our rotation being short, I feel like everybody did their part. Um, and when they came in, everybody was ready. So that definitely helped. This is what we were thinking was possible, <laughs> like with you out last year, but with you doing what you were doing that you guys could do this kind of, you know, 20 point combination type thing. But is it, has it taken a little while here for you guys to figure out how you can both do it in the same game? Uh, <laughs> It's 40 minutes in a game. Yeah, <laughs> it's a I lot think of I, yeah, yeah. I feel like a couple games just went different. Like uh, you saw in the first and I think the third game, I was a little bit in foul trouble, and then mm -hmm. we had a lot of rotations. And I think we we're just trying to figure it out as a team. It wasn't really more so that we didn't think that we can do it or other people couldn't score. <laughs> Whatever we were trying to do, it's just more so we were just trying to figure out how. Okay, how we're gonna win as a team? Everything else is gonna come once we figure out how to win. And I think that we can build off of this and just, you know, take it, build some momentum for the future. But it can keep going like this. We just we just had to get time to figure it out. That's so. all. Ty, you scored 12 of your 26 points in the second quarter. Did you feel like you were like, your shot was hot at that time or it just happened to fall that way? I think it just happened to fall that way. I think a lot of shots I take, I be thinking they're going in anyway. But luckily, yeah, like you said, I just had a hot hand in the second quarter. And my teammates did a good job finally. And then building off of that second quarter, one of your biggest moments in that quarter was that and one. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about what was going through your head during that? I was like, Ice, please pass it fast so the door don't block my shot. Because I saw her get the steal, and I was like, please, just pass. Just pass it fast. Because they be, they be trying to block my shot all the time. So I just went up strong, and yeah, that's it. I was it. just praying she caught it. Yeah, I'm just glad she just threw it early because the girl was coming. The girl was coming. Coach, Nubia Parkinson had 12 rebounds tonight. Can you mm -hmm. talk about her impact? She's just a force inside. I don't know. I, I don't know if you saw the impact of the rebounds, and they has great hands, great hands and great feet. I mean, she t she brought some to her body. She went outside of her body to go get some of those rebounds. But that's just the beauty of our team. And, and people see her presence inside, but she also can shoot the ball from the perimeter. Uh, we we just it doesn't matter who we're going to defend. We're going to rebound which turns into those transition points for us to score. Uh, and, and I just loved how we displayed it for 40 minutes today. Can you talk to me about Jaya Labette's uh, contribution in the win today? Well, we call her our, put, our pit bull, yeah. right? I mean, she just, she'll do whatever. Whatever the team needs her to do, uh, she steps up to the challenge. She doesn't back away from anything. She's fearless. And you saw that. You see it out there. Um, for her to just be a sophomore, there's no ceiling to what she can do. And can you talk to me about the differences from the last game to today? And uh, how do you expect for the Sun Devils to keep the momentum going? Well, I think the difference is, is just we put together 40 minutes. Um, you saw 20 minutes of it. Uh, but I think when we talked about it and we watched you know, film, and, and, and you have to understand, we, these players, um, have expectations, right? Things that they talked about together, the team goals together. And so um, they want to win just as much as we do, too. And, and so they know what it takes. Um, and then they weren't happy with the result. But they knew it was going to take 40 full minutes, and they knew it was going to be together. And it didn't matter who. It was just be ready. And we were ready on the defensive end. Uh, we were ready on the offensive end. And we get to celebrate together. Jackson. Um to have that many rebounds <laughs> for, for a smallish guard. Mm -hmm. How big of an uh, addition is that to you know, what your post players? Well, that was part of the recruiting process because that's what she does. She's a rebounding guard. Uh, and she also sparks us defensively, right? A lot of players obviously want to score, and, and um, that's what shows up a lot on the box scores. But she sets the tone for us defensively. So she's going to do what the junkyard dog thinks, and that fuels our team as well. But that's that's something she takes pride in, uh, and that was the reason why you know we knew we needed her to help complete this puzzle.
in the first quarter, um, you guys had, I think it was 10 turnovers, and then that kind of uh, fell off a little bit as the game continued on, and it seemed to, to stop after that first time out in the first quarter. Did you tell uh, your team anything, Coach? Well, I think we just get sped up sometimes. Um, we're looking for each other. We're looking for our teammates, and that's, that's the beauty of our team, right, sharing the ball. But sometimes we were overpassing, but that's just the energy in the game. We just settled down, we calmed down, and, and, and you saw it translate into more effective offense and value for the possession. That's one thing I wonder for Jalen too. The, the, the traveling calls, is that um, like what Natasha just said? Or is that just a concentration thing where you're just moving your feet and not even really necessarily realizing it? Or? That's a fair question. <clears throat> I feel like for me, I'm very, very fast. And sometimes I can move faster than my feet are moving. <laughs> so that is a mistake that we definitely talked about. I went in the huddle, I took Oche, they corrected whatever mistake I was making. And after that, I just made the adjustment, make sure I'm catching the ball before I do anything with the ball. Mm -hmm. And to be on two feet for a team that had physicality like they did, it was so important because that's how we're getting our finishes. That's how we're able to still make that pass and take the bump. So we definitely made adjustments after that. You know, good.